you're looking for quality aftermarket parts that fit right the first time, think of TRQ. Now we're going to go ahead and install a power mirror switch on the Chevy Equinox. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the interior trim panel tool, go ahead and install under the back side of the handle. You're going to work your way around, releasing these metal clips and gently pulling up. Go ahead and pull up on the handle a little bit and apply a little bit of backward pressure and that should release this handle from its place. Once this is removed, you'll have access to the two connectors here. You can apply a little bit of pressure to this retainer clip here, squeeze it, and just wiggle that connector. Do the same thing here. This connector, apply a little bit of pressure, bring it in, wiggle it, and there is your switch. So if you want to go ahead and replace your power mirror switch, you want to take this control unit and flip it over. And on each side, you're going to notice there are two retaining tabs right here and two more on the other side. You can use a flathead screwdriver or a similar tool. And in one hand, use your thumb, and you can put that tool in here and gently lift up, applying a little bit of downward pressure on the side of that switch. Come over to this side here, apply some pressure, and that'll lift out that side. Still applying some pressure to the other side, I'm going to do the same here. And you should be able to manipulate that switch out. It does take a little bit of finessing to get four of these tabs off. Uh, you can sometimes, as a tip, once that's installed, undo the two front ones first, and then try the two back ones applying backward pressure so the switch comes out backwards like that. That's how we're able to get that to come out. Now for the installation, simply going to reverse the installation. This will just insert and should snap right into place. Reinstallation of your switch bezel. Starting with the a lighter colored connector, line up the spring tab lock, snaps into place. Followed by the darker connector, line up, snaps into place. What we're gonna do is, there is a tab right here that will actually insert underneath this plastic trim right here. So we're gonna put that nose first. Make sure all of our trim is lined up. Apply some downward pressure and this should snap right into place. Work your way back, finishing with the last click. 